I vlogged a little bit yesterday which you guys saw in the beginning of this video and I just wanted to be like completely honest and transparent because I was like you know what I could just continue vlogging and pretend that this morning like me vlogging right now is just right after what you guys saw but that is not the case yesterday it was so weird I think I got chlorophyll on my sweatshirt <laughs> anyway um, it was so weird like I vlogged the morning and I was like you know what I'm gonna vlog the rest of the day like I want to keep up vlogging we were gonna go do like some shopping and stuff Emma wanted to go get a pair of sneakers at this place like outside of Boston so we were gonna go do that like I got all ready and I was gonna vlog the day and then literally right before we left I was like my body Emma just like hurts and I feel so weird and I really just feel like I need to stay home and rest and then the rest of the day, I just had, like, the worst body aches. Like, my body was just, like, hurting. And I slept, rested all day, slept through the night, woke up, and I'm literally fine today. So I just think it was my body telling me, like, I need to rest. I can't keep going and going and going after I did Vlogmas. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't, like, giving myself time to relax because I had like Christmas and then I went to the Patriots game and then I just kept going so my body was like you literally need to relax and stay home and so that's what I did but today's a new day woke up this morning I'm feeling so good I've done so much cleaning this morning and I was gonna vlog it but I was just in the zone like I left my phone in my room on do not disturb and I just like kind of got after it so I'm gonna show you guys what I did right now and then we're gonna make some lunch I'm making a pasta salad which I talked about in my last video if you didn't see my last vlog I did like a huge grocery haul and I said I was gonna make a pasta salad a different one than the one that I made a couple weeks ago in during vlogmas but I just want to show you guys like what I got done also this is bothering me I need to clean my mirror but I rearranged my room. I put my little chair in the corner with my lamp. Obviously, I have my new blackout curtains, which I will link. They are so amazing. I need to get a steamer, though, and I need to steam them because they're a bit wrinkly. And then I just put my big mirror right here, which is from CB2. I will link everything down below, like the mirror. Also, this blanket. I get so many questions about it. It's from Pottery Barn. Chair is CB2. And, uh, yeah. Then I put my flowers over here. They're so pretty. And my bed sheets are Brooklinen. I just made my bed. And that's pretty much it. Those are, like, my room updates. I kind of just, like, rearrange my room. I'm going to work on cleaning my closet next. Still working on the walls. We're getting there. Oh, cutest little baby. You need a bath. Look at your little, look at your little face. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, okay, I cleaned the whole entire kitchen this morning. I took everything off of the island. All I have is this candle right here, the Santal 26 from Le Labo. I'm just going to leave this burning and just have the island be, like, clean. Nothing on it, which I just love the clean look. I used to have a vase right here with some fake eucalyptus and olive branches which I moved over here onto like the entryway table. I cleaned the coffee maker today, cleaned the floors, vacuumed and like mopped them so they 
are all clean, cleaned all the counters, backsplash, everything. And everything is just fresh and new. And also I cleaned inside of these cabinets and I organized, I still have to get to this one. This one's just like random crackers and snacks that we have, which I wanna get bins for this top shelf. But I organized this one right here, which just has all of our tea. This tea container is amazing. It just keeps all of them so organized so you don't have like random boxes of tea everywhere. We have like so many different kinds in here. This is like one of my favorite things that I have. And then I just have some powders. This is, I believe, yeah, some greens, some coffee right here, some extra tea. And then these are my peak tea packets, which I wanna get little containers for the peak tea packets. This is my favorite matcha of all time. I made one this morning actually, and it was so good. I just did almond milk and I frothed the almond milk with some cinnamon and I also used some of these right here. I did chaga and I also did, that's some more matcha. I did this right here, the Sun Potion Pearl Beauty and Spirit Tonic. So I did these two inside my matcha, almond milk, cinnamon, and I added a little bit of honey. It was so good. These both have so many amazing benefits. So I'm gonna start making matcha. I think I, I don't know. <laughs> I go between coffee and matcha, and right now, I just feel like after being, like feeling run down and sick yesterday, I was just like, I do not feel good, because I got this blue bottle coffee, when I was walking around Newberry the other day, I was like, you know what? We just ran out of the coffee that I normally get from Whole Foods, the Bulletproof. So I'm gonna pick up a new one from Blue Bottle because I was right next door. And it was, it literally made me shake. My heart was racing all day. It was the worst feeling ever. So <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I really wanna focus on my health and drinking matcha. Matcha has so many amazing benefits, especially this one right here. And I, just want to start drinking it. I go through phases where like I like coffee and I like matcha and I think right now I'm like in a matcha kick. So anyway, I have all of the little, like this is our like health and wellness cabinet right here. So we have all of the things that I just showed you guys from Sun Potion. Um, we have a bunch of different types of chlorophyll, some CBD, oil of oregano, and then these right here. I have some elderberry syrup, black seed oil, and this Beast Keepers cough syrup, immune support for nighttime. So we have like all of that type of stuff in there. And then I did this drawer right here. We have these jars, rolled oats, and then this is the granola that Emma just made. And I kind of tried to put different categories of stuff in these two bins. So right here, I just have like a bunch of different oils and vinegar, stuff like that for cooking. And in this one, it's all of Emma's baking ingredients. So we have like a bunch of maple syrup, baking powder, um, these little cupcake cups, baking soda, and some vanilla and stuff like that. And then obviously, just have random things right here, peanut butter, salt, another vinegar, some apple cider vinegar, tahini, and some breadcrumbs. And then down here we have the canned stuff, like a bunch of different like beans and stuff like that. And then we have some coconut oil. I love to always have a can of like tomatoes to make sauce. And then just like random different sauces right here. We have like buffalo, a Thai sauce, a Primal Kitchen dressing, those are my favorite, and then some new olive oil. I have like a bunch of different types of rice, pastas, and in here's just like random um, jars of stuff. Like we have some Thai coconut curry, just like easy things to grab, some cooking essentials, and then down here we have pots and pans. So this whole entire cabinet is organized and it's making me feel really good. So anyway, I'm gonna start making the pasta salad. I have a pot of water. I'm gonna boil this. I have to get all of my veggies together and prep them. I need to look to see what I'm using, but this is the pasta that I am gonna be using today, the red lentil penne. I just love 
this one because the only ingredient in this pasta is red lentils and there is 25 grams of protein, which is really good. All the veggies are done. I love adding everything to a stainless bowl. These are just so easy and so big. It like fits everything and they're perfect to mix stuff in. So I did red onion, yellow and orange bell pepper, cherry tomatoes and cucumbers. I did like three mini cucumbers and then black olives. I just added in the pasta. I was gonna make my own dressing but I already bought this from the store and I have it so I'm just gonna use what I have. The Primal Kitchen Italian dressing i love this brand again they just have really good ingredients like you can literally read what it is that's exactly what is in here they don't like add anything weird <laughs> so i love these i'm gonna add this to the bowl and mix everything up it looks so good i added the whole thing of dressing just because with the amount of veggies and pasta that is in here, like this is a pretty big bowl. I feel like it really soaks, it like soaks it up so quick. So honestly, it's better to have more than less in my opinion. So this is done. And I added also some extra red chili flakes and then mixed everything together, but it smells so good has so many veggies also you could definitely add like a feta cheese which i think would be really good i didn't add cheese just because emma doesn't really eat dairy so i am leaving that out but you can definitely add it in add it on top whatever you want but keeping this in the fridge for a few days is perfect and such an easy like lunch or even like a little snack to have on hand i just washed all of my makeup brushes which is <laughs> such a good feeling to just have all clean brushes. So I'm gonna let those dry. And I'm starting a bath right now. I just really wanna take like a warm bath and relax and make tea and just chill. I'm getting ready for dinner. I had just like a really chill afternoon. I don't know why my camera's not focusing, but I took a bath like you guys saw, made a green juice, literally laid in bed and just like relaxed because our dinner reservation isn't until 9.30. Like it's super late tonight, which is fine because it's New Year's Eve. I feel like everyone is kind of like out late tonight, but that's all we're doing tonight is going to dinner and just having more of like a chill New Year's Eve coming home and relaxing. So that's what's up. But I used the Dyson air wrap on my hair and it fell <laughs> out. So I'm gonna have to touch it up before we go out to dinner. But I'm getting ready right now. Graydon poured me a little glass of champagne. He's so cute and lives here in Emma. And we are gonna have just like a chill New Year's Eve, like I told you guys. And then all of us are just gonna go to dinner and call it a night we're going to lola 42 one of our favorite restaurants in boston and we always go there it's like one of our favorite places sushi they also have like normal food but they just have like really good drinks it's a really good vibe like the best atmosphere so we're doing that oh i need to put a robe on because i don't want to do my makeup and then have this little sweatshirt on okay so i'm gonna go do my makeup um i will link all the products that i use down below but I am gonna get ready. I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, makeup is done. I fixed my hair a little bit. I have very fine hair, so it doesn't really stay that well, um, but it's okay. So anyway, outfit of the night, I'm wearing these little hoops from Revolve, like little silver hoops, and my dress is with Jean. Don't mind my spray tan, it's so bad right now, um, but it is what it is. And then for heels, I'm wearing these big clunkers from ASOS. 
dress is a maxi dress. I'm gonna throw on a leather jacket with it and then I'm using my by far bag. I will link everything down below for you guys, but I wanna tell you the name of my lip. It's Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. I'm using the lip liner and also the lipstick. So it's like the same shade, but this is the look. I love it. I love the color of the lip. It's like a wine red. It's not like a bright, like Christmassy red, but I really like it. And um, all the makeup will be linked down below. So you guys can check it out if you want.